Oh my gosh, I gotta tell you, as soon as I read this leak, my heart skipped a beat. It stopped beating for a second, and then it started beating extra hard. My Apple Watch was like, oh my god, are you okay? And I told it, yes, I'm totally fine, and then I started recording this video. That's a lie. I wrote it on my video idea list and then waited 48 hours. But I am so excited we finally have a little bit of evidence, that's all I needed to get excited, about Face ID coming to the Mac. Let's begin. <laughs> Face ID, for those of you who don't know, is my favorite biometric. Of course, I'm the Apple sheep, so I really only have two choices, but because I had to deal with psoriasis for so many years, fingerprint readers were always fairly unreliable for me, and as soon as Face ID was implemented into the iPhone 10, I instantly fell in love with it. I always thought it's so much easier for the device to just unlock or let you access certain passwords as soon as you're looking at it. And I swear to God, if any of you out there start going off on Windows hello right now. Mm, I can't. I'm gonna throw you guys into Windows goodbye. How about we introduce you to that? Because Windows hello is not the same thing, okay? Not all face detection is created equal. That's like saying, oh, the Surface Studio has a screen, so why is the iMac any different? Okay, not all screens are the same, just like not all face unlocks are the same, all right? Windows hello does use infrared cameras, but it does not use dot projectors. It is not as accurate. It does not collect as much data as Face ID does, which is what makes it so secure, unless, of course, you happen to have an identical twin, in which case, uh, I guess, don't live with them if you don't want them looking through your stuff. But honestly, identical twins could get away with a lot if they look that close to you and you're living at the same place with them. They could fool your friends and that kind of... Anyway, side tangent. The reason I would love Face ID on the Mac so much is because of all the use cases we have with Touch ID now being replaced with instead of, you know, the little pop-up on macOS saying, hey, to install this software or to unlock this certain system preferences feature, just rest your finger on the power button, right? I mean, it's easy. It's a lot more simple than entering your password, but what would be even more simple than just resting your finger on the power button is if you're just looking at the screen, which it's a Mac. You're already using it. And you don't even have that same argument that you have with the iPhone with a lot of people saying, well, I don't like Face ID that much because when the phone's laying flat on a table, it can't see me. So I have to kind of do this weird gesture to look at it the right way. You don't really have that argument with a Mac because I know very few of you that actually just, you know, rest the display of your MacBook on the desk and use it that way? No, that's not even a thing. I can't even say I know one person who does that, especially with the iMac, because it's basically impossible, but as you guys know, I'm super duper pumped for the redesigned iMac, and if that thing happened to have Face ID on it so that basically whenever you wanted to install something or change some system preference, or anytime you wanted to unlock passwords on the Mac, it didn't require you to, hey, put your finger on the power button, that's how you unlock it. Instead, it just unlocked locked right? And the biggest deal with this is that we could actually bring biometrics to Apple's desktops like the iMac, whereas Touch ID is still not available for people spending, you know, three, five thousand dollars on desktop machines. It's so far been an exclusive to the MacBook lineup because they build it, you know, right next to the touch bar. It's part of the keyboard and Apple doesn't want to do a Touch ID, you know, Bluetooth keyboard. Personally, I think they should. But if they're working on this, you wouldn't need to because it would be so much infinitely better than Touch ID whenever you're trying to install or unlock passwords and that kind of thing. You could just have a quick little insignificant pop-up that says like scanning your face real quick. It doesn't have to abruptly jump in front of you like the Touch ID notification does. It can just be like checking that it's you. Yep, it's you. Face unlock is authenticated and boom, enter your passwords. It would be such a seamless integrated experience that I'm already getting a taste of whenever I use my iPad Pro as a laptop with the magic keyboard case and everything. Oh, by the way, I should probably talk about this leak a little bit. What, what actually happened? So 9to5Mac was looking deep into some Mac OS Big Sur beta code, so thankfully this leak is coming from Apple themselves. It's not some random Twitter account that was created yesterday that says, Air Power is coming out tomorrow confirmed. No, it's not that kind of account. This is a leak that 9to5Mac spotted, and it was referencing Face ID sensors within the software code, which is codenamed by Apple the Pearl Camera function, which is the same code that we've seen in the iPad Pro as well as the iPhone when it got Face ID. This is the software that was alluding to these face unlocks features and some other references they saw within the Big Sur beta code was face detect as well as bio capture and one of the biggest giveaways for me if they are actually planning on doing this is that when Apple showcased that they were making the transition to their own silicon built in house one of the little sidebars there said like high processing camera capabilities which as we all know Macs for the longest time have had the crappiest and most basic of webcams so why would they show this on the screen unless they were planning some revamps to the webcam so 
I feel like that could be another great perk of adding Face ID to the Mac lineup is that means potentially getting high resolution webcams on our machines as well that actually look kind of like our iPhones and our iPads. Even if you don't care about Face ID, I think people would appreciate that improvement as well as the fact that we could be getting unifying biometrics across MacBooks and iMacs alike. Who knows, maybe in the future even make a Pro Display XDR that has some Face ID sensors built into it so you can unlock your Mac Pro through your external monitor. I don't know, but the other big leak that I referenced in previous podcasts as well was the Quadruple UDC event invite image. Everyone's using a MacBook and they're using their Memoji at the same time, right? If you're going to showcase people using MacBooks and Memojis together, wouldn't it be perfect for the end of 2020 to come out with this new 13 or 14 inch MacBook Pro that has Face ID sensors and lets you use Memoji on the Mac now? As macOS Big Sur is trying to take so many design characteristics from iPadOS and unify the lineup, why not unify the authentication method as well so we can unlock our phone, our iPad, and our Mac all just by looking at them. You don't even have to rest your finger somewhere. I think objectively, when it comes to device unlocking technology, this would be by far the best out there. And it's true, it's possible Apple may have had some leftover code from iPadOS or iOS that they left in the Big Sur beta, and maybe this is nothing. Maybe there's plans for it in the future, but it's not as soon as we're thinking. Either way, though, just the fact that 9to5Mac is finding this code and it's being referenced gives me a lot of hope because I have been on a non-stop hype train ever since I did that 2020 iMac wish list because it seems like Apple simply watched that video and now they're just doing everything that I requested them to do. And for the longest time, I felt like Face ID on the Mac was years away, but now it's starting to feel much, much closer to the point that we could even see it this year. I don't know. What do you guys think? Feel free to hit me up over on Twitter, join my Discord, and calm me down because I'm kind of panicking here. This is your Apple Sheep here. I'll see you in the next one.